Hello guys, today I'll be showing you some simple tips for ARC and some dinos you should tame. So you're probably wondering, you're probably wondering, how do I tame? I mean, not how do I tame dinos, but what are some beginner tips I should know? Okay, so first, I don't know if you could see right now, but I'm playing Ark Survival on Switch. So, I have a couple boosts on here. I have more gathering resources. I really think that's an essential. If you want to play the game and not it and and like not be that grindy, then put a bunch of stuff and you should put some some things into taming with multiplier because taming can just be pain in the butt and see but the thing is i have a little, little taming thing so these two guys took me around 30 minutes to tame or 40 i don't i don't know like 20 30 to 40 rex here took me 40 40 or more minutes i think um Raptors are very simple to tame, so he took me like 20 minutes. Um, um, Machi, aka my Anki, he had a level on him, but he took me like 20 minutes to tame him. 20 minutes to tame him. And then we have this one right here. This is my Pterodon. And the reason why I named that is because it's my sister username and that's all my dinos oh no no that's not all of them rex is over there okay as you see i don't really want to go over there but there's like stack on name mega he took me like 20 minutes around the thing tank and um here in the water i should have i don't know where he is at i don't really look for him I think he's over there. Yeah, I see him. Whoa, look at that big Ronto. I think he's. Yep, look at that. Right here. This is my big boy. Big boy, 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 boy. He is my Megalodon. This guy isn't really that fast. He has good damage, but he's not that fast. That's why I'm looking to team on Mosasaurus. Um, so yeah. But I just showed you all my dinos. But let's get into some taming tips. So when you begin in the game, here's some dinos I recommend you to get. So definitely, like a mini raptor, you should get like two dilos. I recommend two dilos, and I recommend them being like when you're level 20 and just pu just pump them with health and and damage so they can protect you when you're in in the um, in the early game they'll protect you second second that's what i recommend but definitely trike definitely triceratops he is uh he's really an mvp when you want berries like if you have him basically every single i mean not every single her herbivore but a lot of herbivores will um Will like or will literally be easy tamed. Also, one thing I like to say is, is that medjool berries are one of the best ones for um medjool berries are one of the best ones for the taming of um it, yeah um the I don't know what they're called. The ones that eat berries. And they eat berries. Metro berries are the best. Stem berries, don't use them, they wake them up. Narco berries, those are very good. They, um, is you, if you are new and don't know, know anything, at the top of the taming bar, it'll say, it'll say at the bottom, put food to tame. And once you, and once it eats food, it's gonna show a little yellow oranges bar. But at the top it says it says torpor I think or something like that, and that is what. Make sure that never runs out or 
your ting will wake up and run away. Okay, and next next dinosaur, a uh, pair. Uh, I think Parasaur, he's he's very fast, he's reliable in, I mean not very fast, but he's reliable, he's really, he's like the, um, the Triceratops, he's basically a, a nerfed Triceratops, and he's just like a Triceratops, except he has this special ability that is really, really cool, I recommend you take him on every time you're going somewhere. So I'm I want to tame him so bad because I have my Hawkins here, and Hawkins, he is a really he's a really good thing dinosaur. So I want to drag up a Parasaur up there, and when you ride it, you I don't switch you press your ZL button, and he activates his secret ability of able being able to sense if any carnivores are nearby. So let's say if there's a raptor. If there was a raptor in here, I would press a ZL button and it'll show how many raptors they are there are. So next tame is Raptor. I know you guys in the beginning of the game I'd be like, oh my god, it's impossible to tame things. But all you need is a bola. Like I'm serious. You just gotta get perfect timing. You gotta be away from them. An Ebola and you got them and then you can hit them with a shing spot. Or um, the club and they're fairly easy to get uh, if you have a bola and you have a good time and stuff like that and also what else was the what else was I gonna say oh yeah okay final team pterodon they're gonna be your first flyers and they'll help you get dinos like this these boys right here Hawkins and Hex these are called RG I already made a video all about Argies. These are Argentavis. And the Pterodon will just help you. Um, Pterodons are carnivores. So they'll eat meat. And that's all for beginner. That's all for beginner tips. Oh, and okay, I already told you guys Metro Berries are good. But you guys will not be able to access this early game. But, 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 um, Raw prime meat is very good for carnivores. Like, okay, so this is for people like me who are in mid game. No, actually, I'm in late game. But people who are in mid game and late game, tame a saber. I was taming the saber, right? He was a low level, like level two or three, and it took me under twenty minutes to tame him because of the raw prime meat. It's very, very good for dinosaurs like him. And yeah, um, I think that's all I have. Also, I recommend not building a base till you're level 30 or 25 because that's when you unlock a crossbow. That's when you that's when you unlock crossbow. That's also when you unlock stone buildings. They're very strong from the wooden. Just don't make a thatch building. Don't make a thatch, thatch house. Even though I have some thatch right here. That's just for my boat house. But don't make a thatch house. Thatch houses suck. Like if, uh, if, if, um, if, let's say there was some triceratops. And they're, and they're in a pack of two. They would easily, 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 easily break the thatch house. That's how good they are. And also, let me bring on my map. Okay, so if you can see that I'm on an island called Herbivore Island. If you go down there, so like, like south, no, 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 west. If you go west from here, you should hit the south. And I recommend, see above here is like a little, like a little thing. It kind of looks like Michigan. And um, so if you go over here, there should be a thing. Look, there's a little plateau. There's a little thing there. And there is like three islands there. Three islands. There is one, two, three. Yeah, three islands. And these three islands are really, are really easy to tame. But don't go 
I mean, I do recommend going up the stream, but there's Carnos. Sometimes if you go deep enough, there's berries, T-Rexes. Don't go up there unless you're prepared to, to kill some dinosaurs or tame some. And I think we're going to end it off on that note. For, I think, yeah, I think we're going to end it off on that note. Well, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. I will be posting another one very, very soon since I don't have really any plans to edit. And it's going to be about eggs. Eggs. Yes, eggs. It's going to be about eggs. Anyways, so, bye guys.